Shalom, precious souls, loved by God. Uh, I want to share two dreams that I, the Lord gave me on March 16, 2016. And the first one, um, I was in, on a beach, and I saw many people from all backgrounds and races, and all of them were busy playing at the beach, totally unaware that a big, huge wave was coming in and uh, at the horizon. And... It, uh, even a greater one behind the first one. I tried to to tell people, but they were they were just too too busy uh, enjoying themselves on the beach. So I went up 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 on a deck uh, high above, and there was a man, and I knew that the man was a believer, but I knew that this man had given up on himself. So I told him, I said, "Well, don't you know that? Just come to." Come to the Lord, and uh, He'll forgive you. I repent. And uh, the man knew what was coming, so he believed, and his he the light came back to his face, and uh, the joy was restored. And I was just so happy to see him restored. And this man had a black hat. Um. Later, after that, I saw myself. I was in a, like in a open room high above and there were many people and those people were aware of what was coming they could see the two two three waves well it was one and then another one behind it was so much greater and then like in between there was a small one and they were scared so I kneeled down to pray as I kneeled down the Lord told me well are you gonna are you gonna pray or are you gonna tell them about me I said, I'll tell them, Lord. I got up and I started yelling in my dream. And I said, this is it, people. This is it. Life is over. This is coming and that's that's it. So you need the Lord, uh, Yeshua, Jesus in your life. You, you need him to save you. You need to repent of your sins right now before uh, your creator, almighty God. And to, you need to come to... Um, to his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, for salvation. And I, as I start saying all this, I woke up. So, there's a Bible verse that I want to uh, tell you with this. It's Luke 21, 36, which says, Stay alert, always praying that you will have the strength to escape all these things that will happen and to stand in the presence of the Son of Man. Amen. Amen. So, um, in uh, this dream, most of the people were in, unaware of what was coming. And uh, the believer with the black hat that had given up on himself, uh, do, don't give up on people that you know that they are not believers. Keep praying for them. Tell them, tell them that, that God loves them, that God uh, always is there for us. Just waiting for us to, to repent and to come to Him. Encourage them if you, you know, or just pray for them if you don't know what to say. <laughs> anyway, so the second dream, I, I, I fell back to sleep and I had a second dream. And in this time I saw a big church building. And this church building was pretty empty. Um... Yeah, and so there was a friend there who is blind by, uh, literally, he's blind and with his family. So I saw him and I said, I don't know what I said this to him, but I told him, don't you know that we should be there preaching? <laughs> so when I said that, he got up and started preaching and his eyesight was restored immediately and he went up to uh, like a different part of the building and he was high above with some religious leaders and all of these leaders have idols and the world was completely fine with them and the moment that he put uh, I think it was a menorah and a, a, I think a cross or something that, that, that indicated that this is Yeshua, Jesus everybody protested they they went after him, but he was protected, and nobody could do anything against him. So I was I beheld him and looking at all this. I look back, and I saw that within that 
few people in the church they were like dead they were they were just so apathetic so sickening uh lukewarm like the lord said and so i looked to the other side and i saw a small group not in the benches but a small group and they were all on fire for the lord and they were calling people within the church said, come and help us come and help us we need to do some uh, uh some good deeds uh to help somebody else or something and nobody wanted to help and i was just so so disgusted with the whole idea that nobody they were so dead uh so sad so so then at that time a a person named dodi which in hebrew means beloved came from the outside of the building he came into the church building he came and he told to to the two ladies that were there one of the me he said i'm leaving uh, and i need help so uh, when I look at the at this Dodi person, his face was really, really tired. Like he had gone through a lot of work. And I said, okay, I'll go help. I'll go with you. So, and I, and uh, we were heading out of the building. So my understanding of that is that this Dodi person was the, the bride. And he was leaving. And he was... It was done. He was so tired. His face was uh, very weary. So I know that all of us are going through so much trials and tribulations. But I think it's the refining that the Lord is doing within us and through us. Anyway, so um, there's a Bible verse with this last dream. And it's uh, from John 10, 27, which says, uh, my sheep listen to my voice and I recognize them. They follow me and I give them eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So my encouragement is that, <laughs> well, I hope that you were encouraged by the two dreams, but that um, keep your eyes open. He loves you. He, he, and the Lord wants you. And uh, I have a blessing for you from number 620. 4 to 26. Thank you.